Hi everyone, in this video we will learn multiple regression. But before starting multiple regression, I just want to share with you what is the difference between standardized coefficient and unstandardized coefficient. That's the most important part of multiple regression and the path analysis also. Number of research scholars had asked, ma'am, what is the difference between unstandardized regression and standardized regression? regression coefficient and they had asked what we have to take why we should not take unstandardized coefficient and why we have to take standardized coefficient beta value why we should not consider unstandardized coefficient so this difference i just want to share with you what is the difference and how we have to take into consideration so first of all, uh, we will understand what you mean by multiple regression. A regression analysis is used to assess the relationship between one dependent variable and several independent variables. Regression coefficient is a measure of how strongly each independent variables also call it predictor variable, predicts dependent variable. That means independent variables, we can call it predictors also we can call it predictor variables also because these predictor values these predictor variables they would define dependent variable but how strongly it depends on one particular variable how much explaining dependent variable so there is Regression coefficient we are going to use in multiple regression, unstandardized coefficient and standardized coefficient. A standardized coefficient we can call it beta value also. Now, question is what is the difference between both these coefficients, unstandardized coefficient and standardized coefficient? So, here is, I just want to share one very interesting book chapter where is a well-written unstandardized coefficient and standardized coefficient. The unstandardized coefficients can be used in the equation as coefficients of different independent variables along with constant term to predict the value of dependent variable. But standard coefficient beta is how we measured in standard deviations. Now I am elaborating both these terms. The standardized coefficient is found by multiplying the unstandardized coefficient by the ratio of the standard deviation of the independent variables and dependent variables. We will move to the formula also. What formula you had applied when you are going to calculate standardized coefficient? But unlike standardized coefficient which are normalized Unit less coefficients and unstandardized coefficient has units and a real life scale. An unstandardized coefficient represents the amount of change in a dependent variable y due to a change of one unit of independent variable x. Let's say you have taken number of variables in your analysis. One is dependent variable and let's say four, five independent variables. But it is not necessary all the independent variables they are having same kind of unit. Might be possible some units are in kg, some units are in liters, some units are in centimeters, some units are in any, any, any unit. So, we have to, this unstandardized coefficient simply will tell us how much change in that particular independent variable y due to change in one unit of independent variable x. I mean, if there are the four independent variables, if we are going to change one unit change, in that particular independent variable. So, how much it will give impact on dependent variable? This is the one thing. Another thing, it will because that is not unit less. But standardized variable, standardized coefficient, there is standardized coefficient, there is no unit. 
right no unit because that is converting into at the standardized form so here is standardized coefficients allow researchers to compare the relative magnitude of the effects of different explanatory variables in the path model by adjusting the standard deviation such that all the variables despite different units of measurement have equal standard deviation so here is i had already explained you r represents correlation not come to later on all these part but before first we want to finish this standardized and unstandard so this is the one interesting paper i had uh, opened this paper you can see here just a moment sorry yes this is the uh, standardized uh, deviation you can see here standardized regression coefficient science direct and uh, multiple regression Andrew F. Siegel, 2008th edition, Practical Business Statistics, 8th edition, 2022. Very good. I mean, this is the way how they had explained clearly difference between standardized regression coefficient and unstandardized regression coefficient. Here is comparing the standardized regression coefficient because the regression coefficients B1, BK, may all be in different measurement units direct comparison in difficult a small coefficient may actually be more important than a larger one right it is not we cannot treat all the units at one single level so here is a small coefficient may actually be more important than a larger one this is the classic problem of trying to compare apples and oranges the standardized regression coefficient eliminate this problem by expressing the coefficient in terms of single common set of statistical reasonable units so that comparison may be at least be attempted. Right? We cannot compare. If I would ask you purchase banana, banana in terms of dozens or in terms of kg, can you compare both these things are equal? No, not at all. So same thing is here. You cannot compare these two, these two or three units at one single platform. That is why we are converting unstandardized values into standardized regression coefficient. So here is regression coefficient bi indicates the effect of a change in xi on y with all the other x variable unchanged so i'm just what i just want to show you how you have to convert unstandardized value into standardized values into standardized values the standardized regression coefficient found by multiplying the regression coefficient bi by sx1 and dividing it by sy represents the expected change in right in standardized units of s and now we come to the i just want to show you there is the bi you can see sxi sy right that means this is the um, standard deviation of dependent variable and this is the standard deviation of independent variable so, how we have to perform this? Each regression coefficient is adjusted according to a ratio of ordinary sample standard deviation. The absolute value give a rough indication of a relative importance of the x variable. So, here is you can see standardize the regression coefficient for a magazine ads example. Here is you can see page cost. This one is the standard deviations, right? S, Y. And audience, SX1, percent male, SX2, SX3, median income. And uh, we have to be put regression coefficients, audience ka B1 and percentage B2 is minus 1020 and median income is minus 1.30. So finally, standardized regression coefficient may be computed. How you are going to compute? Audience says the B1 multiplied by SX1 divided by SY. So you can see B1 value we have taken from this place 10.73. And after that SX1 97. 
SX1, yes, 9768. And after that, it is divided by S SY. So you can say SY163549. And now you calculate it, standardized regression coefficient 0 0.641. Same way, percent male, right? That is the animal and median income. So I hope you understand how you are, we are going to calculate standardized regression coefficient. And I'm sure in the next video, I'm going to discuss with you that's also in the path analysis, path coefficient, that is also very, very important. How we are taking beta value, how we can convert into a standardized Z score. So I hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you. Keep watching. Stay tuned.